Brian. Welcome into this week's edition of the Fish Farm. And uh, Brian, Fourth of July is this weekend. It is. It's a lot of things happening. A lot of parades going to be going on. We're going to be cooking out, having a oh, good yeah. time. But uh, probably one of my favorite things. That's fireworks. Fireworks and uh, fireworks can be expensive. Yeah. Um, and you know, me and you need a little extra cash. And being that we're in a state that's in between you know Tennessee and South Carolina, two mm -hmm. fireworks legal states. We thought we'd make some of our own and maybe sell them on the black market. That sounds good. Uh, you know, Brian, they don't make M80s anymore. No. I've got something even better. What's that? What's this you is the uh, F80, Fire Extinguisher 80. Jeremiah, I don't know about that, man. That's All you got to do is pick it up. Yeah, well, yeah. No, 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 no. Jay, a lot of people might not know this. Now, we snuck back into Mike Kelly's secret stash, and uh, well, his pride and joy cologne, King Tut here. A lot of people don't know that uh, this acts as a great fuse for uh, it's a safety precaution to get back and lighten up the fire. What I've done is we've got uh, a couple of bundles of sticks of joy right down the hall there, mm -hmm. and uh, well, I've poured a trail from oh, here to there. Gosh. I'm gonna light it. We're gonna see what it does. Okay. okay. Here we go. Now, if you're looking for red, white, and blue sparkles for your 4th of July fireworks, take your regular can of Lysol, a little bit of Tabasco. We put a little dab in here, shook it up real good. Oh, God bless America. All right, Jeremiah, one thing people might not know, you might have fireworks stashed away in your collectibles. We have this collectible can of mash beer, which a lot of people don't know, it makes a great firework. Well, let's see. Let's see you tonight. All right, Jeremiah, has, uh, he's got his trusty sidekick on his hip pocket over here. We're going to toss this up and uh, see what it'll do. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right, pull. Oh. Well, Brian, turns out a lot of those explosions were a whole lot bigger than even we wanted them to be. Yeah, I, I definitely didn't know some of those uh, products and some of those household items had that kind of a kick to it, man. That's, that's pretty good. That puts black cats to shame. <laughs> <laughs> it's fireworks on a budget. Yeah, right? absolutely. Happy 4th to everybody out there, and uh, Lord willing, we will see you next week on... On the Fish Farm. God bless America!